Well, an historic event, a century in the making. This morning, the city of Pawtucket put to rest the remains of a U.S. Civil War Union soldier and Pawtucket native. 12 News reporter Valerie Moravi has the story. Well, it's been 111 years since Byron Johnson died in Seattle, Washington. And today, over a century later, his cremains have been finally put to rest in his native home in Pawtucket. It's one of the final Civil War soldier burials in the United States, and it all started with a call. Very special to begin with, but to have someone who served in the Civil War and his remains coming back is very unique. Byron R. Johnson was born on March 8th of 1844. He grew up in Pawtucket, and an 18 year old Johnson volunteered to serve in the Union Army during the Civil War in the 11th Rhode Island Infantry. His service speaks not only to his bravery, but also to the tremendous burden carried by those who fought not just on the battlefield, but in the hospitals and camps that supported the war effort. Emilian Boyven is a historian with the city of Pawtucket, and she tells us she received an unexpected call in May from a nonprofit organization that brings soldiers back to their families called Missing in America. And once they identify who they were and they were Byron Johnson's, they then started doing the history and connecting it to Pawtucket. These photos provided by the city of Pawtucket show the intensive research that went into finding who the Pawtucket native was. It was later determined Johnson was a hospital steward at Miners Hill in Virginia before coming back to Rhode Island to work as a druggist in the 1870s and eventually moving to Seattle where he died on April 3rd of 1913. This moment today is more than a homecoming for Byron. It's a restoration of dignity, a return to the family and the city that shaped him. His remains, forgotten for over a hundred years, now rest beside those of his parents, right here in Oak Grove Cemetery. Now a mark has been placed at his bureau site to honor his service. He leaves no family behind. In the studio, I'm Valerie Moravi, 12 News.